Hello everybody, today we'll be going through the Hummingbird Kit developed by Birdbrain Technologies. This is an absolutely fantastic kit that can be used for a wide range of STEM projects in and outside of the classroom. It's extremely easy to use and can be used by all grade levels alike. Now for our first item, we have our single color LEDs. Um, they come with yellow, blue, and red, um, this particular box. So you would connect them into the controller using those leads right there. And just going based off of its name, it only shows one LED color um, based on the wiring. And as we get an aerial view of our LEDs, now hopping into our next item, we have our tricolor LEDs. Um, these alternate between red, green, and blue, otherwise known as RGB. So when you would plug them into the controller um, using the leads right there, um, you can program them to show um, or, you know, make any kind of pattern for however long you like, as well as toggling the intensity through the program as well. Now, this is a fun little item here that we have that called the position servo. So essentially what this does, it controls the position of the motor through the program through to your liking as we get the view of the top of the servo. That's where you would attach the servo wheels and plug in them into the controller using that plug right there. And as you can see, it comes with two straight out of the kit. And I have attached the servo wheel so you see what that looks like when all assembled. Now it's close cousin here, we have what's called a rotation servo. So you can program this thing to rotate continuously like a wheel in any direction you like, clockwise, counterclockwise, at any certain speed that you have programmed as well. You plug that into the controller and we have two of them just like we have two position servos again i have attached the servo wheels to portray the rotation that you would eventually program now we're going to hop into some of the sensors that we have been given so our first sensor is called a light sensor essentially what this does it outputs a signal indicating the intensity of the light and you would plug that into the controller um, using those three leads right there now our next sensor is our dandy uh, distance sensor essentially what this does it will just measure the distance of a wide range of objects and will actually give you a value depending on what you're looking for you can look for it in inches centimeters millimeters it's a really fantastic little tool to use um, another exciting little piece of equipment here is our sound sensor Essentially what this does, it will detect sound waves through its intensity and convert that into an electric signal. So essentially you would get an actual digital value from that. Finally, we have our rotary or dial sensor. Uh, what this does, you can program it essentially to output a value based on where the knob is turned. So you can turn it halfway and you would get a value based on whatever you're looking for. And here we can just look through the four different types of sensors that have come with this particular kit. Now I thought it would be best to show some attention to the accessories that came with the kit. We have our servo wheels. They come in so many different shapes and sizes. So you'd attach this to the top of the servo to indicate any of the movement that you've programmed. Now we have these plastic brick adapters that can even be attached atop the servo to portray any exaggerated movement. And here we could just get an aerial view of you know some of the accessories oh just to mention we you have been given many extension cords in order um, for convenience now this is where all the magic happens this is our controller um, without this any project you have will be pretty much useless so you'd pro you would input any of the devices into this little thing right here and that's how you would build your project from that and I've already made a little LED indicator. Um, this was assembled in about like 30 seconds. So you can just go ahead and build something just to troubleshoot or just see if everything's working properly. And as you can see here, all of our equipment is working just fine. And we can hop into any, any project that we would like. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to subscribe for more on behalf of Innovation Lab at Harmony Public Schools. Thank you.